So is it possible to become a freelancer and program online? Or is there any chance to become a programmer to work for a company at a physical office? Let's talk about that in today's video. Welcome back, my name is Tim Pachalka with another programming tip of the day. And the question was as to whether it's possible to build a career online as a freelancer or whether your only chance to become a programmer is to work for a company at their offices. Well, the good news is that there's lots of people who have already built a career as a freelancer online and are actually generating an, an income and in some cases a substantial income. So the short answer is you can certainly do that. There's certainly lots of opportunity and uh, I would estimate tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of people are already doing it. One of the reasons why this scales so well and there's so many opportunities is because of course the internet is a global thing right across our planet. So in the past, like for example, when I started out as a programmer, I had fairly limited options. I was in a small country town and uh, if I couldn't find someone who wanted some programming done in that local town, that was more or less it. I didn't have any other opportunity unless I was prepared to travel and uh, you know, even finding whether there was opportunities was quite hard back then. So these days we're largely spoiled. There's uh, websites like upwork.com being perhaps the biggest one, but there's freelancer.com as another one. And these websites are there to basically link between a person like yourself who's perhaps looking to become a freelancer and a client who actually wants some work done. Now I've been on both sides of the fence with companies like Upwork. I've been the uh, contractor, so the person who's, uh, or the freelancer I should say, and I've actually done some work for another client, but I've also been a client when I've had programming projects that I've wanted to get done and I haven't had time to do them, and I've hired programmers on uh, Upwork.com. Again, that's just one example, one website. So you can do it, but uh, keep in mind that uh, to get started, one of the uh, things you'll find is it's very competitive. Because it's a global market, you're going to be coming across people from all parts of the world, and uh, depending on you know which where the client's coming from and so on, you might find that the amount of money that uh, people are bidding for particular projects might be insanely low in your opinion. So in other words, you might be looking at a job and thinking, look, there's no way I'm prepared to work for that hourly rate. And that will happen because that's uh, it's global competition. But bear in mind that it's not all price related. And uh, I'll go into more detail about that in a future video. But this video is just really talking about whether it's possible to do it. And absolutely, yes, it's possible to become a freelancer and uh, build a living online because many people have actually done that. But just be prepared when you're starting out to uh, you know, perhaps have a very low rate just to get your foot in the door, do some projects, build up your reviews, because it's just like buying a book on uh, Amazon or a piece of equipment, there's reviews and you'll find yourself as a freelancer on these websites, the client, the person who's basically paying you, uh, can leave a review for your services. So a great way to build up a profile is to do uh, some jobs, get, just bid for a job and get a job in at a very low rate. Obviously you wanna make sure that you can actually do the work, but assuming that's the case, get the job done, get some good ratings, build up your credentials, and that can then uh, catapult you into future success. And just as another tip though before I end the video, that can also be a great way to uh, basically be used for a resume or on your, on your resume for a prospective employer down the track. If you've done some work for clients and have left a very good review, look, you know, that's something you can add to your resume. And uh, you know that's something that a future employer would be very interested to know because they're trying to assess whether you're a good fit for, uh, for their company. And if you can show that you've already got some programming experience and you've done a good job, uh, that can stand you in good stead uh, as uh, you know someone who could perhaps do com really complete that job for them in the future. So freelancer, absolutely yes, it's possible to do that online. Alrighty, so I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you're ready to look at the next tip, click on up here and you can check that out. If you're interested in coding specific programming videos, click on the link in the bottom left hand corner. Consider subscribing by clicking on the link up here and I'll see you soon.